Praise the Lord, sons and daughters of the Most Highest God. I hope you are blessed today. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is June 10th, 2022. And the Lord gave me a message to give unto you all. Plus, he gave me a dream that I'm going to put on this video also. Let us pray so that the enemy of our souls does not interfere with this message. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace to always warning us, Father, no matter what. I praise and glorify thy name above all names because you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the Almighty God and always will be Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ. Amen and Amen. Here we go. First, I'm going to give you the message he gave unto me yesterday at 9 o'clock p.m. <clears throat> My judgments are real. My beloved ones, I am the Alpha and Omega. I am the Great I Am, and I am He who has come in the flesh. And many do not believe this. But I will bring them forth, speaking about judgments. And, and will ye not know this? My word talks, tells thee all that I shall bring down my indignation upon the whole world. And ye shall see it with your own eyes. And that is in Psalms 91, where he says, Behold with your eyes the reward of the wicked. But ye shall not partake of this wrath or judgment, my beloved children, for ye have been saved through your faith and your obedience. Ye all can see that I, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, means what I say and does what I say I am. I am. I am not a man that shall lie or should lie, but many believe that I am. But I speak the truth so that all men may be liars. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but through me. John 14, 6. For I am the door to everlasting life, my bride and body. I am coming so near to thee all. These are the words of your Heavenly Father, love Jesus Christ, your beloved God. So as we see these judgments falling, know that they come from Father God, the Almighty. And this is, or and it says, nine means lost. Go astray, be destroyed, or to destroy and kill, to blot out, put to death, divine judgment. Okay, here's the dream that God gave me last night. I had a dream on the night of 6 9 2022 which was last night I heard the trumpet blast I heard the trumpet blast three times loud and clear 
like never before, and I have had many dreams of the trumpet blast, but not like last night. I told my children in my dream, Jesus is coming, and ran outside, and I saw that the sky was very gray, in and in and dark in color, and I knew that Jesus was drawing closer and closer. A warning for all his believers to be ready, waiting and watching. And today, 6 10 20, 22, during prayer, he told me, Jesus, to tell all of you to be prepared to leaving quickly for he is very near. He loves us so very much, brothers and sisters, body of Christ, bride of Christ. He loves us so very much. That he said, I know that my true bride and body are becoming tired and weary, but I do not want no one to perish. And he said this with a sad, sad voice. But for all to come to repentance so that I can bring them to everlasting life my beloved and I told them I know Lord I know and he gave me the scripture of bearing one another's burdens even before I started prayer time he spoke to me and said bear one another burdens, my love. I am so near to catching up all catching all up to me now. I love you all. Yeshua HaMashiach, your father and friend, time 121, the date 6 10 20, Brethren, I know that many of you have given up on witnessing. I know that it's hard, very hard right now but we can't give up you don't want your loved ones or your friends or your acquaintances to end up in the fires of hell I know I don't God has been speaking to me a lot lately And I know that many of you are going through hard times, rough times, trials and tribulations, spiritual battles in your life. But we can't give up. We can't give up. We are mighty warriors in God's army. We were sent down to this world for such a time as this to fight, fight fight the good fight of faith for strangers, for your neighbors, for your loved ones, for friends and acquaintances. And we can't give up. We just can't give up. Yes, I know that you guys are tired and weary like Jesus said. 
I too am tired and weary. But I know when Jesus says something, he means it. He means it. We're going home. We're going home. So let, let us not give up the fight for the souls of this world. Brethren, I love you all. Though I know you not in the flesh, but I know you in the spirit. And we're going home. <laughs> we're going to rejoice. We're going to rejoice when we see each other. <laughs> So like the Father says, <laughs> rejoice and be glad on the days that He has given unto us in this life, because eternal is going to be such a rejoicing time. Such a rejoicing and blessing time. To be with our Father, finally, finally to be with our Father in heaven. So all I can tell you is continue the good fight of faith. I love you all, my brethren. See you in the air. Or see you on YouTube again when the Father gives me a message of warning or a message of encouragement. Shalom, be blessed. This is exactly what I heard in my dream. It got louder and louder and louder and louder and louder and louder. We're going home. <laughs>